being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Today's video takes us to the beautiful state of Maryland, where we find our good frauder friend, Terry Taco Boy. Or is that Taco Boy, Terry Boy? It doesn't matter. He's a fool. And he attempts to file charges against a man who allegedly did bad things to him at the voting precinct. Problem is, the state's attorney won't file charges. Oh, that's just too bad, Terry Boy. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy! So we are up here at the Annapolis City Police Department right now to drop off the video footage of the assault yesterday at the Pitt Moyer Recreational Center. Yeah, old Terry Boy got the wrong one and got the taco mess slapped out of him. Needed three staples in his head. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, I'll put that link in the description box just in case you missed that or maybe you want to watch it again. Oh, it's quite entertaining indeed. I'll give you guys a little video look at myself in a second. I have three staples in my head. My knee and elbow are fucking banged up. I got bruises everywhere. There's assholes. Took four of them to tackle me. But tyranny and oppression never stops and neither do I. People told me to stop going out and shooting videos for a while and be safe. Da, 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 da. But it's not about my safety. It's about getting the it's about getting the results. It's what we do. How you doing? I'm here to drop off some evidence to Officer Fowl. I'm here to drop off some evidence to Officer Fowl. Officer Fowl? Fowl, P-F-A-U. He's not working today. Okay, can I drop it off to his superior then, please? Yes. Gotcha. Give me one second. Okay. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. I'll go out to my car and grab the piece of paper so I have the case number. Okay. The lad fancies himself a freedom fighter. He thinks he's doing something good for America. I have no idea what that would be. But notice how he's wearing a cap over his head. That's to hide the staples. Oh, the poor thing. Did Grandma kiss it and make it all better, Terry boy? Oh, Grandma took care of her little bouncing baby grandson. Moments later. As I said, people told me I shouldn't order for a while, this, that, and the third. Like, da 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 da. It's not worth a couple of dollars for this or that. And I'm like, dog, it's not worth the money at all. Like, I don't do this for the money. It's not about money. It's about the principle. It's about fair treatment, equal treatment for everybody. It's about doing the right thing. It's never been about money. I don't care if these motherfuckers beat me up. I don't care what they do. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to be out here every single That's weird. I'm going to be out here every single day. Sergeant Juan is going to come and, and talk to you. Okay, cool. Thank hands. you very much. Appreciate you. So the lad truly believes he's a freedom fighter. Maybe he fancies himself like Dr. Martin Luther King. Ooh, wouldn't that be something? Look here, Terry boy. You should go work at the family restaurant because you're not a freedom fighter. You never will be. And I predict you're going to get a few more staples along the way. Maybe not in your head. Maybe other places. Maybe a couple screws to hold your bones together, too. Is it all worth it? Oh, according to Terry Taco Boy, it is. Much later. Alrighty, squad. What's going on out there? How's everybody doing? Another beautiful day here in Annapolis, Maryland. It is the 9th of November. It's about 3 o'clock p.m. 
and we are shooting our first video on the new GoPro. Some of you may have just seen the post I made about it arriving, so I wanted to come out and test it out. See how it works, get it going. This is the new GoPro 11. I do not have the max lens mod on there yet. I wanted to get out and get up here before it hit three o'clock. So uh, I didn't want to sit and fiddle with everything else, but yeah. Again, appreciate every single one of y'all that donated. Appreciate my buddy Web Jockey, almost said his real name, for donating a large lump sum to help me get this new camera because the last one was broken. Now, didn't this moron just tell us he doesn't do this for the money, yet he gets donations and enough donations apparently to buy a new GoPro, which aren't cheap at all. Ah, uh, see, you're just a hypocrite and a liar and everything else we called you all along, little taco boy Terry. I am still without my chest camera, uh, but that will come in due time. I am greatly appreciative of the community accepting me in and also donating to help me get a new camera. Eventually. But, yeah, so they won't call and ask me any questions or ask me for any information or anything but they'll go up there looking for any possible loophole to be like oh haha -ha, we'll get him in trouble for this haha -ha, he did this or he didn't do that but as y'all know how you doing as y'all know i do my research i dot my t's <laughs> i dot my i's and i cross my t's and I make sure that I am usually as educated as I can be on the situations I'm putting myself into. Look here, Taco Boy Terry. If you put half that effort into finding a job as you do on your frauditing details, you'd be a wealthy man by now. But of course, maybe not because your own family doesn't want you working at the family restaurant. What's up with that, Taco Boy Terry? Oh, man, I'd like to know where that restaurant's at. There are certain times where the situation may take a left turn, and I may not have studied for this exact scenario. That's kind of how I do it. When I sit at home, I, I think, okay, if I'm going into this place or doing this, what is a scenario that I'm going to get into? What is a possible thing that the police are going to say as like a reason why I can or can't be there. And that's kind of how I look up the statutes and the laws and the different uh, like criminal codes either granting me or uh, rescinding permission to do whatever it is I want to do at these properties. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't just sit at home and like study the entire law dictionary and just like memorize everything i evaluate possible scenarios of situations that i'm going to be putting myself into and i will educate myself properly that's your biggest issue taco boy terry you're not educated and what are you doing reading black's law dictionary oh man see that's what's wrong with frauditors they pick up black's law dictionary and they think that's a reference for everybody man i'm telling you you are a moron. What are you, 31 years old now? Get a real job. You're halfway through your life and you've done nothing except fraud it and live off your grandmother. What good are you? You're an oxygen thief. So that if one of those scenarios, so that if one of those scenarios, so that if one of those scenarios presents itself, um, I can enact. So I called. The number listed, which is 410-222-2444, to voice my opinion and to petition my grievance against Mr. Michael May for not filing or prosecuting those charges on Robert Jones Jr. And then I even went one step further as to contact the Maryland Attorney's Grievance Board or Grievance Commission and file a complaint on Mr. Michael May over there as well. Oh my goodness, no criminal charges, Taco Boy Terry? Perhaps you would prevail in a civil lawsuit. 
But remember, that's going to take buku money. Buku money. Oh, maybe your subscribers will chip in. They seem rather stupid. Maybe they'll donate some money for your lawsuit. So, again, these are just steps that I took. These are just things that I did. I'm not saying anybody has to do that for themselves. These were just the steps that I took. So, till next time, squad. Be safe out there. Take it easy. Peace out. Well, now there you have it, folks. You heard it here first. He's a freedom fighter. Doesn't care about the money. But then on the other hand, he accepts donations. Go figure that out. Well, it's only a matter of time till he gets a few more staples here and there and a couple screws to hold his broken bones in place, and then maybe he'll give it up, but maybe not. He's pretty stupid. Yeah, speaking of stupid, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, like Tackle Boy Terry, please subscribe, as always. Thanks so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that.